I've gotten a few questions about fixing holes in your locks. So that's what today's video is about. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In case you're new, I'm Shama from Happy Living Now where we take on a holistic approach to helping you design a life that you love. So that means sharing everything lifestyle, hair care, money, DIYs, and much more. So if these are things you're interested in, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yes, it's free. And hit that notification bell as well so you never miss an upload. So in today's video, I'm actually going to show you how you can fix holes in your locks. Now, I want to preface this video by putting out a disclaimer and say I am not a loctician. I am not a hair care specialist, although I do do hair for other people and I do do my own hair and lock care and maintenance and I do make videos on my journey. Please be sure to note that this is not professional advice. Don't take anything that I say in these videos as professional lock care and lock maintenance advice. I am just putting information out there as to my own individual lock journey in hopes that it probably will help some of you. But definitely don't go taking that as professional advice. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. Be sure to use whatever you feel comfortable with using. Um, but if it doesn't work for you, don't hold me to it, okay? Because again, it is my own personal journey here. Um, but I have gotten quite a few questions on how to go about fixing holes in your locks. Um, and I will go more in depth into that question in my upcoming lock Q&A video. I do have that coming, so if you want to see that, definitely be sure to be on the lookout for that video. Uh, but I figured in today's video, I will just show you a quick way to go ahead and fix holes in your locks. I figured because I've been asked a couple of times that I would just go ahead and make a video showing you guys how you can go ahead and fix holes in your locks. So the next clip you're going to see is me working on just some random head. I do have an old like doll head somewhere. So it is kind of like Caucasian type textured here, but I hope that regardless of the hair, um, it's the process that you're gonna understand. So I hope that you know you overlook the type and the texture of hair um, that I'm gonna be working on, and that you focus on the method in hopes that it definitely helps you fix uh, your problem if you are someone who has holes in your locks and are looking to fix it. All right, so let's get on to the video. Okay, so now that we've created our hole, and your hole would normally be created, but because you went, you most likely went in the same direction twice. So it could be, in this case, we went 12 to six um, twice in that direction twice. So that's why we created this hole. So, um, so this is how I would go ahead and fix holes in my locks. Now I'm not showing you on my hair because I don't currently have holes in my locks. Um, I probably should have thought about doing a video when I first discovered the lock, the holes in my locks, but that was a few months ago. I've since fixed them and currently I do not have any holes in my locks. So because I've gotten a couple questions on it, I figured that I would just go ahead and show you and it's probably better to show you on another head instead of my own head. So this is the hole and to fix the hole, I'm going to use a crochet needle and hopefully that focuses all right so it's a regular crochet needle um susan baits and it doesn't really matter the size really but i'm using a 1.15 mm hook and so what i would do i would go through so you see this is the center of the hole and let me zoom in really quick so this is the center of the hole and I'm gonna go through the hole through the side right and then I would typically just start crocheting the hair together and twisting it right it's pretty much the same concept if you've seen how I created lock attack um, if you've seen how I created lock extensions um, in my lock extension video it's pretty much the same concept you're using the crochet hook going in sideways through that hole and then you're just gonna mesh the hair together by twisting between your thumb and your pointy finger and using the crochet hook
okay and as you can see the hole that was there it's a bit it's starting to mesh as you can see it used to be wider it's now starting to mesh so you would just keep doing that and so the concept is all about trying to mesh the hair with the other hair strands and close that hole and so now the hole is closed up it's matted obviously you would keep doing it till it's cylindrical or however you want it but I'm just showing you the concept here that it's pretty much meshing the hairs together to make sure that the hairs intertwine with one another and they mesh and that the hole closes up okay so this is one way all right so you can see that that hole has now disappeared so I'm gonna show you another way okay so as you can see we have a hole right here and so the next way that you could fix this is you to interlock use. into whatever tool you use or you can use a crochet needle um, this was a crochet hook that we used the first time around you can use a crochet needle like like this so you can use the metal ones or you can use the plastic ones this is a plastic crochet needle that I got from Walmart and I cut it down and opened up the hole somewhat and this is the metal crochet needle that I used when I was first installing my locks so actually we'll use that okay so you see we have our hole right there hopefully my hair can go through that needle so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our needle and we're gonna go through the hole sideways so you don't want to go down the center because you're just gonna keep splitting that lock okay so you're gonna take your needle and you're gonna go sideways okay like this so it's pretty much going perpendicular to um, the hole at a 90 degree angle and let's see if this is gonna work okay right and then you're gonna pull that through now it may be a little bit difficult depending on how thick the end of your lock is and how small the hole is it might prove to be a little bit difficult but it's doable so you're gonna pull through okay and as you can see that hole is now closed now of course depending on how big the hole is you might have to do it a few times um, but in this case the hole was not big at all so let's try to do it here again in another hole okay so this is the hole we're gonna take our needle go through at the perpendicular angle we're gonna feed the end of the lock through that needle and we're gonna pull through Okay. There you go. I'm going to tighten that. And there you go. The hole is now gone and it's all fixed. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was and you enjoyed the content of this video, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Definitely go ahead and subscribe as well if you haven't already. 
and hit the notification bell as well so you never miss another upload and if you have any questions comments or video requests drop them down in the comment section below as well leave your suggestions as to what other content you'd like to see on this channel i look forward to reading your comments and again thank you so much for watching stay blessed and i will see you guys next time